Hey, what's going on? We're at SBD.com, and we're looking at the first look at the 2018 Nike Air Force One Low PlayStation. No way. They got an Air Force One Low PlayStation? There's no way. There's no way. Look at, the, look at that color scheme on it. Like, come on, that blue, I don't know what blue that is, but it's looking right. It is looking right. That's crazy. Yo, I can't wait to find out more about this shoe. Let's go ahead and, you know, read on real quick. It says, Nike and PlayStation are expanding their relationship in 2018, not only with the Nike PG2, but they'll also be releasing another Nike Air Force One. The original Nike Air Force One PlayStation from the mid-2000s was limited to 150 pairs. That's crazy. So they made one of these way back then? You know what I'm saying? They only made 150 pairs, so that's probably, you know, why I didn't know about it. But that's crazy. This right here is looking nice. Like, I, I, I really want to cop this, like, right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm a PlayStation person. You know what I'm saying? I play the PlayStation. I got a cop. Let's see what else they said. Dressed in a black varsity royal and white color scheme, the PlayStation Nike Air Force One has a similar color scheme as the Nike PG2 PlayStation featuring a black leather upper with a, with patent leather around the heel highlighted with its iridescent royal blue swoosh logo and PlayStation branding on the heels. A white midsole, a milky translucent outsole completes the design. It says Nike Air Force One PlayStation release date. Look for the Nike Air Force One PlayStation to release on June 11th at E3 video game convention in L.A. That's crazy. It said retail price tag is 200 for it. That's crazy. That's crazy. It says Nike Air Force One PlayStation colors of black, varsity, royal, white. Style codes of BQ3634001. Release date June 11th. Price tag 200. That's crazy, man. Mm. That's crazy. Just look at that shoe. It looks nice. They got the nice glossy black scheme in the back. And then in the front, they got the nice matte black. That's crazy. They got the nice midsole as a white. And on the bottom, they got like a kind of like a mixture of like that bluish that's on the Nike symbol and like a cream white or like a white. That's crazy. I like how they did the shoe. They did a perfect job, man. They really did. I ain't going to lie. You know. For the first big release of Sony and Nike, they, they went all out on this shoe. There's going to be a lot of people copying this. I hope there's a good amount. Like they said, the first, you know, the first release was only 150 pairs. I hope there's more than that.